to look forward to. And last thing before we get to Cravante is we had the top 100 athletes of the 2000s. This created a lot of interesting discussion. Uh, and we got a poll up. Make sure you vote on it. Who is your number one athlete of the 2000s? So from the year 2000 to now, we had a rankings list of ESPN. I'm going to pull a list up. And at number one, you just mentioned his name, actually, Roger. It was Michael Phelps, probably because of the Olympic success. How do you feel about this list? And who is like your number one or top five or people that you think should be on this list recognized? Oh, uh, my top five would probably be probably Michael Phelps, probably number one. Um, he was so dominant when he was swimming. Nobody was, you know, beating him at the Olympics. I know, I know, he had his issues off, off the, off the swimming, um, swimming team, but he was fantastic, man. He was fantastic. He was great. He was the, he, he was the great, great, the great, great, great <laughs> of the two, of the two thousand. So, definitely deserves to be, if not number one, at least top five. Number two, probably would have to be Serena, man. Number two would probably be Serena Williams for me. Um, just because what she's done in tennis, women's tennis and tennis overall, she was phenomenal. She, she was great. She was winning tournaments left and right and destroying people left and right. Uh, number three probably would be LeBron only because, I mean, he's been doing it since 2003 and he's still going strong today. I mean, he's the all time leading scorer in the NBA. I mean, this is about to be his third gold medal if they take care of business. And on top of that, man, he's just done everything correctly in his career and in life. And he's a billionaire right now. And he's he's oh, and he got his son into the league, definitely. So he got something over Mike and Kobe with that one. Yeah. Uh, he he he's uh, definitely a uh, top three. Um, as far as four and five goes, I'm not sure who I would pick four and five, but I do. But those are my top three. But four and five, I don't know. Go ahead, Cavante. I'm just rolling down the list. We see a lot of names I didn't even think about sometimes. So, how you feel about this, Cavante? Um, it's an interesting, interesting list. Never really thought about it like on the well, because. I guess because the Olympics don't happen as often, it kind of could be forgotten about. But then we bring up people like people like Michael Phelps was like, yeah, because <laughs> the, the 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 dominance and the hardware and the jewelry is heavy, is is real heavy. I don't know. I, I know that we've seen like the really like iconic picture of him with all of them on. Like mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine how much he'd weigh with all that stuff, with with all that gold, with all that jewelry on. Um. My my guy, hey, eighteen already. He 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 played seven years, eight eight years. I mean, eight years, something like that. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Um, it, it's I I just feel like with in in no particular order, it has to be my Michael Phelps, LeBron, Tom Brady, um, Serena Williams. I feel like those four have to be in there tom brady's been dominated since to not let me not say dominate since 2000 but he's been winning super bowls since 2000 um and then he won one in 2020 so he has 20 years plus of great um great football lebron james had a stretch for about probably about 10 years where he was the best <laughs> he was the best basketball player um ever despite the MVPs or lack of MVPs or whatever, like we all knew pretty much LeBron had, had that type of run um, in him. And of course, off the, off the court, what he means to the game and his community and all that being a billionaire has his own studio, um, you know, school got his son in the league. He's going to have a second son in the league. He may not be in the league by the time his second son come, but maybe, maybe not. Um, So that's great. Um, Serena Williams has been absolute dominant in the game of tennis, not even just women's tennis, but just the game of tennis. But for but on the women's side, absolutely, absolutely dominant, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely dominant. Um, 
Michael Phelps, you know, we already kind of kind of talked, we already kind of uh kind of talked about that one. Just his his overall dominance um in the game. And of course, he from round, he, he, he from round. <laughs> he from Baltimore. So, you know, there's there's that. Oh, Barry Bonds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um it, and, and and since we know we're talking about the international side of things, um, it probably gotta go to one of the soccer guys, man. It's just just because on the international side, soccer or football um is the most popular game sport in the world. Um Messi. Yeah, Messi, he was number three, I think. Uh, Karate. He was number three. I, I just think I just think you got to throw one of the side guys, e- either <clears throat> uh, Ronaldo, Messi, like one one of those guys got to be up in there, uh, just because of the impact that soccer and football has on the world, and those guys being at the top of the game of the most popular game in the world. I just feel like they have to be up there as well. I'm not well versed in how like championships and all that work or hardware or MVPs, but they get talked about a lot. And I see a lot of folk wearing their Jersey shirts like around, you know what I'm saying? So yep. very popular. It's very, very, very popular. So I, I feel like they got to be up there some, at some point too. <laughs> yeah. A lot of names. I'm just going down the list. You see names like Ray Lewis and other names, but let us know who you think is Otani already at number 62 as well. I think, um, I think Ed Reed was 100. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, I'm just working my way through. Mbappe at number 65. There's a soccer guy for you, John Jones. Man, if he could have got right, man, he'd be a top 25 guy. John John James Harden, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just put I mean, anybody on the list, huh? <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Manny Pacquiao, there you go, Ryan. It's your boy. Hey. John White, big shout out to him. Mookie Betts, Mookie, Lisa Leslie. We got more oh, where, soccer where, guys. Uh, where, where was Floyd? You passed Floyd? Floyd was like – I go back to Floyd. It was like thirties, I think twenties or thirties. Yeah, yeah. Got Bernard Hopkins, the great Bernard Hopkins in there. You got Andy Murray, Cheryl Swoops, eighty one. Hey, Cheryl, Swoops. Cheryl Swoops, Chris Paul, eighty three, Lauren Jackson, eighty four, Kawhi, eighty five. Okay, all right. Okay, Venus. okay, all right. All right. Yeah, I know. We just we just played up a lot of work holiday. Was that, that that was Ronaldo right there? Uh, I think he was further down. I think he was a little further up. Asia Wilson, number nine. There you go. There he is, Roger hey, boy. Duck, duck is in the nineties. How about that? Pedro, my other boy. There you go, Mr. Martinez, Rory. Got um a lot of soccer guys. Well, <laughs> Revis makes it in number ninety six. Got cricket guy, Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. Got is Ed Reed, number ninety nine. Ninety nine. Okay. And Charles Woodson was number one hundred. Let me see if I can find Floyd for you though. Um, but Kante, you ready to get goofy while we find Floyd for you? Show, 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 show. Let's get goofy, everybody. It's time for Cervantes. Goofies of the week. Yo, yo, gosh. Something wrong here. <laughs> well, now that's goofy. Jam. Oh, jam. Stupid. Just stupid. Man, I am. I'm looking for this. Oh, man. I I got to start saving, saving these things on uh, my Instagram because I saw something crazy um, in relation to the All-Star game. I was kind of, you know, talking about it earlier. Maybe it was one of the ones I liked. Um, it was it was in regards to injuries, but I have to uh I gotta find it. But um so welcome to Goofies of the Week sponsored by the Flex Zone. Appreciate you guys for giving me a little bit of time. So let me tell the good people what I thought was goofy this week. Um it's a it's a lot to choose from. Uh I'll obviously um get into the politics of it and I got, got a little, little sports, a little politics. Um so yeah, um, let me see. I think this might be it. This might be it. This might be it. Okay. So I'm do sports. I'm do sports and politics. And I'm do. And I'm gonna do it pretty much in that order of uh, goofiness. 
So y'all know I did with all types of goofiness. I did with high level, low level, medium level, um, and all that, and all that in between. Um, so any levels of goofiness, I deal with it. Um, this is the this is the fun part because um during the dog days of uh of sports, we really have to kind of dig deep. <laughs> uh for goofies while we're waiting for football to, to uh come around the corner <laughs> so um i have a couple goofies but this is my first one uh it's sports like this is what i told y'all i i came across this i wasn't able to see the game but i see this uh this goofiness going on right here yep <laughs> so and I was looking for this caption because I, I I read the article about this story and it was goofy. But I wanted to make sure I quote um, the caption for this lady who got thrown out the a WNBA game for trying to uh, for trying to get face to face with Angel Reese. Huh? Huh, Byron? Close to Angel Reese. Got kicked out. She said she paid. 12 Rod, she paid twelve hundred dollars for the seat, yo. She said she paid twelve hundred dollars for the seat. But the goofy part is what comes in. Hopefully, I can decipher this because it is kind of crazy. But I quote, um, this is Ivy K the GOAT. And I quote in her tweet, um, I paid twelve hundred dollars for my seat to think. Angel Reese 5 was not going to see my face. Crazy. Angel Reese 5, all my followers, please tag Angel Reese 5. I spent my kids' school money for them to do me this, to do me this anyway. B-I-T-C-H. Um, I'm on side, I'm on a side of the star. Something like that. And it says Angel Reese WBA hashtag WBA All Star cap. I snuck in na 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 boo boo. You you hoes better catch something else. <laughs> um, it, it's difficult because you guys got to try to read it for yourselves. It's quite goofy. Matter of fact, I'm about to send it to uh to you guys now. But trying to decipher that was crazy because. What you out here spending your kids' school money on these WNBA tickets, these WNBA All Star Game tickets, so you could get close to Angel Reese? Is that what we're talking about? Now, I get it, Angel Reese, polarizing figure, love to meet her, love to see her, love to see her play. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, she could become a friend of the pod. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe get on, who knows? Speaking to existence. But twelve hundred dollars for your seat, and you do something goofy like get thrown out. I'm just saying, I pay two hundred dollars for a seat. I'm there twelve hours before the game, and I'm there twelve hours after the game because I need to see y'all. I need to see this whole thing unfold, and I need to see it rolled back up because, like, that's that's I need to live in this seat for a little bit. Twelve hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? All star game, all, all these, all these uh, lady. Ball players out here putting on for the WNBA sounds like a great time. But so, why would you do something that would get you thrown out? You know, God damn, I don't know if you thought because of the WNBA they ain't have security. You good and crazy. You absolutely good and crazy. They all got security, especially now. They're visible now, and she surely got uh Jazzy Jeff <laughs> out uh, out her, not not only just her seat but out the arena. And Angel Reese had the stuff face like, yo, word. Now, mind you, I don't know if this was before or after the uh, the Reese's girl when she gave her shoes. I think this might have been afterwards. Um, I mean, the I think this might be before that one because I think she still had her shoes on. But there we go. There we go. Hope it plays. Oh, hope it plays. I hope it plays. Try to talk to Andrew. Oh, yep. Oh. yep. 
Wait, it's, it's gonna be a couple guys put their hands on the little watches. <laughs> I'm gonna click on it. Yeah, let me see if I can get the actual. Let me do it this way. Let me do it this. I'm gonna get on the actual X and see if I can get it. But go look, I'll pull it back up. But um, very goofy. You spend it, uh, and again, I don't know. I don't know the validity of this. Like twelve hundred dollars. I don't know it was real. It was not twelve hundred dollars. Uh, her kids' money. Um, was that she? Did, did she say she snuck in at the at the end? I'm like, what? You can't believe. I can't believe none, none of this. I don't even know if this is really her. I, I I don't even know. But nonetheless, Goofy, look, 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 look. Get, get up out of here. Get up out of here. They about to jazzy death her. And I don't even know. Can, can y'all look at her feet, Kate? Ah, dang. I can't even tell. Uh, let me see. I can tell. I think she, I don't know. It's a good question, Kafanta. She might have gave the shoes away. It's like she walked into the locker room. Yeah, because I'm not sure at what point. <clears throat> I don't know if this was halftime or at the end of the game. But um, yeah, she got she got Jazzy Jeff twelve hundred dollars supposedly. So that's goofy number one. Uh, shout out to Angel Reese. You got fans, girl. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the WNBA. You got fans for real. The 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 young you got the young variety the young girls and you got the the goofy ones <laughs> so good luck you know figuring that out um also Raj Byron I don't know if y'all seen uh Angel Reese was out with Jalen Brown not too long ago and and his uh his uh his lady um and Angel Reese was out was. And Angel Reese was out there. Let, let me just say that she wasn't hooping either. <laughs> you know, she she was out there for show. You know, you understand what I'm saying? But neither here nor there. Um, moving on to another goofy. Um, it's the politics. It's the politics. I'm not gonna hold you. It's the politics. Um, I feel like we haven't talked about politics this much in quite some time. Um because really ah uh, yeah 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 that that's 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 the one that that that's it right there um i feel like we haven't talked about politics this much since probably trump was in office because he was always doing something goofy and now this one he's he's involved he he he, he he's involved again but it's a little different so I'm not gonna say all hell broke loose, but a bombshell happened. Joseph, President Joseph Biden, Joseph R. Biden, um, is stepping down from re-election. Those of y'all that have been on the rock, it just happened not too long ago, uh, not 24 hours ago, something like that. Um, so he will not be running for a re-election. Now, uh, all hope is not lost for the Democratic Party because thought Biden, the way he was deteriorating um, in front of our eyes, I thought this was the best thing for him. Because even if he did win, it was a, probably a slim chance he make he, he that he'd make it through another four years. <clears throat> With and, and, and he just looks like he's not all there. So even when he goes abroad and talk to other leaders, it's like, do you really want to put him out there as our spokesperson? A spokesperson, probably not. Um, and Vice President Harris has now pretty much all but assumed the role of now she's running for president in the twenty third hour. She's <laughs> she's officially running for president now. The great thing about the about is that she raised a whole bunch of money in a day, a whole bunch of money. About 80, 81 mil, something like that in a day, which is nothing to sneeze at. I mean, oh boy. I'm not sure about her dancing. I'm not sure about that. Actually, I'm not sure about her politics either, but I'm really not sure about her dancing. Um, but she that like I said, oh, all is all hope is not lost with the Democratic Party. Vice President Harris seems to she she's gonna get the nomination. Um, and run for president. So 
the Democratic National Convention is about to be lit. It's about to be crazy. Lit, lit, lit. But the goofy thing about all this is the Democratic Party waited to the 23rd hour to be like, yeah, we should probably unplug Biden. We should probably just unplug him. Like, he let him finish out his the his last few months of his term, and that oh, Simpsons. Hey man, it, the, the, the Simpsons are they gonna get more, are they gonna get another credit for this? I I I, I don't know. I'm telling you, when it, it was Biden, I, I would have said Biden, you ain't got a chance. Now Kamala, you got the Simpsons on your side. You know what I'm saying? So you you might got a chance. But the, but what makes this goofy is that the Democratic Party is very reactive. I said it before, very, very reactive. You knew Sleepy Joe wasn't about to, he wasn't fit to be no president two years ago. You knew that. You knew this. How many times he got to fall over, fall on the bike, uh, uh, doze off, sleep? How many times before y'all figured out, hey, Y'all, I don't think it's the guy. I don't think he's good for us, y'all. I don't think he's good for us. Somebody probably, somebody in the back probably said, what about Kamala Harris? Ah, ain't nobody say that either, but I'm just saying. He's not. He's not fit. We might have to put her out there, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. It's July, bro. It's election year. It's been an election year all year. So why midway, more than midway through the year, in July, now you know what, guys. Let's go ahead and unplug them. Let's endorse Harris. Cause who told her? Did anybody tell her like, "Hey, right, yeah, you you up next?" So so she could even start trying to do the campaign. She's off to a great start. Just think if if he'd have said this at the beginning of the year, Colin Harris probably would have been. If she got eighty eighty million dollars in support of twenty four hours. Just think if we would have known that she was the nominee in January or at least running to be the nominee in January. She probably, she would be a, a viable candidate versus Trump instead of possibly seeing a landslide with Biden. I hope the best for us in this election. And um, yeah. The, the 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 Democratic Party is playing behind the eight ball, absolutely playing behind the eight ball, and it's their fault. It's their very very goofy fault for being reactive instead of proactive. Being proactive, you would if if this was going to happen, Kamala Harris should should have been should have been you know running her campaign this whole time instead of in July. But now we're here, and as Raj said before. This politics, especially this election year, has been completely goofy. And now Trump is back in it, so you know it's going to be entertaining. Those are my goofies. Um, goofy politics and, of course, sports with Angel Reese and her and that very goofy fan getting tossed like Jazzy Jeff. It's, it's a lot going on, man, but it's entertainment everywhere. There's a lot of goofiness going on, but it's entertainment everywhere. Sports and politics are now entertainment. Politics are entertainment thanks to Trump. But sports is now officially entertainment. And politics is entertainment. It's all entertainment. And we are going to laugh. Hopefully we don't cry. And um, y'all go get out there.